This week's episode of Bariatric TV is sponsored by Bariatric Advantage, the most complete line of micronutrient replacements specifically designed for the weight loss surgery patient. Help support the show by ordering your Bariatric Advantage products directly from the BTV eStore. This week's show is sponsored by Celebrate Vitamins, providing the optimum level of vitamin and mineral supplementation that's tasty and affordable. Use the coupon code BTV459 at CelebrateVitamins.com for a chance to win a 30-day supply of the Celebrate product of your choice. Hi, I'm Tony. And I'm Linda. Are you ready? Let's go. On this week's episode... Another freak of the week. Bathing suit shopping. Oh, the horror. Maintaining your weight loss long term. And we review the website of one of our viewers. This week we want to introduce you to Mark in Chicago. Mark is our pick for Freak of the Week. Mark had open R&Y gastric bypass on April 12, 2006. At the time of his surgery, Mark weighed 510 pounds and he now weighs 195 pounds. Wow, freaking wow. Mark had a lot to say about why he is a freak. Suffice it to say, we agree. Here, you decide for yourself. Mark said, why am I a freak? Let me count the ways. I have gone from a two double whopper and fries eating mess who never cooked to a label reading carb counting lean protein ingesting dynamo that is becoming quite the whiz in the kitchen. It's freakish to me still to this day how much more fulfilling life is. Hell, the fact that I even have a life amazes me sometimes. I still get a thrill out of fitting in a chair that I choose to sit in, that I can tie my shoes with ease, crossing my legs. I hope I never have to take these things for granted. So am I a freak? Hell yeah! A protein swilling, vitamin taking, gym going, designer jean wearing, former fatty that values each day of the new life he was given as much as humanly possible. And seriously, that was just a small excerpt of why exactly Mark is a freak. So congrats Mark, and you know the drill. Email us at feedback at bariatrictv.com and let us know where to send your goods. I don't feel good. Welcome to the Dumping Ground. One question I get asked a lot is, you've maintained your weight loss after all these years. What's your secret? To answer this, we thought we'd run down a list. Something to keep in your head and know if you follow these rules, you can be successful long term. Number one, eat like you're supposed to. Protein first followed by a healthy carb, with portions being at least three to one in favor of the protein. Remember, three bites of protein, one bite of whatever. Avoid overfilling your stomach, sleeve, or pouch. Learn your limits. Number two, don't drink with meals. This only flushes out the food and gives you more room to stuff your gullet with things you don't really need. You also don't need those extra liquid calories. Number three, exercise. Seriously, do some type of activity at least three times a week. Walk, swim, ride a bike, dance, you decide but get your heart pumping. Losing the weight right after surgery is easy. Maintaining it without some type of physical activity is damn near impossible. Number four, learn what your relationship is with food. Learn the triggers that make you turn to food and avoid them. Number five, take your vitamins. We can't say that enough. Number six, watch snacking. If you have to snack, make it a healthy but good to eat snack. There's tons of great recipes out there. We've reviewed a number of recipe sites on our shows, so check the archives. Number seven, maintain some type of support. Whether it's a support group or a forum, a mentor or a buddy system, having accountability to someone else will help you stay on track. Number eight, watch the creeping weight. It can and will creep up. Don't let it. That's, that's the creeping weight, it's creeping. If it does, Go back to basics. Watch and count calories to lose those few extra pounds. You still have the tool, you just need to use it correctly. Number nine, it's never too late to get back on track. Whether it's five pounds or 50 pounds, you still have the tool. Use it and use it wisely. And number 10, remind yourself every day that you had to have this surgery to live a healthier, happier life. If you forget that, you'll forget all you went through to lose the weight. You'll get comfortable or lazy and the weight will start to add back up. And before you know it, you'll lose your altered reality. Blammo! Just like that.
Just a few weekends ago, I made the trek to find a new bathing suit. My buddy Linda was kind enough to go with me. For most people, this isn't exactly a fun fest. But post-surgery, it's often downright uncomfortable. Let's face it, the body doesn't exactly go back to what it was before you gained all that weight. There are usually issues with skin, in particular sagging skin, and a bathing suit just seems to emphasize it. Finding a bathing suit you feel comfortable in can be difficult, unless you want to dress like this. After entering a store, picking up several bathing suits, and sliding into a dressing room, the ordeal begins. It usually goes something like this. You try on several suits, but you just can't find anything. You think in the back of your mind, ah, cover up, gotta find a cute cover up. Well, that's exactly what happened to me on my little shopping adventure. I was handed a suit from the expert that worked in the shop who claimed this suit looks good on everyone. Well, it was a cute bathing suit. Next, I was standing in a tiny little dressing room disgusted by what I saw. I stood there pulling up my thighs like magically they would stay and swinging my arms like the extra skin would go away. When this little voice peeking around the curtain says to me, Tony, you're looking too hard. I realized Linda was right. I was staring at every little flaw a lot harder than even my husband would. And keep in mind that there's usually one harsh light right above your head in the dressing room. Not the most flattering lighting. I took the bathing suit home, tried it on in front of my own mirror, and told myself not to look so hard. Just take a glance, give myself the once over, and move on. And how did that bathing suit look? It actually looked good. We look harder at ourselves and are more critical of our bodies than anyone else will ever be. Maybe if we relax a little, we'll see that we actually look good and healthy and that what others are see really see the the la 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 la. I like the way you just slip into Lindenese. Lindenese. <laughs> Maybe if we relax a little, we'll see that we actually look good and healthy and that's what others are really seeing. So now, put on that suit and let's dive in and freak on. Welcome to the Freak On segment. On this week's show, we want to direct you to a website of our own forum member, McNee. First, we just love the name of this site. So go check out http colon forward slash forward slash w w w dot up my kilt dot net. Um, what does one wear a piss kilt? In addition to a fun read and blog, McNee offers up some great WLS friendly recipes. It's also fun to see a guy's perspective, which is often not the easy part. Okay. I never thought it was a lot of fun to see a guy's perspective, to tell you the truth. It's also fun to see a guy's perspective, which isn't often easy to find. McNee, and I remembered your name this time. We give you a double kilt lift for your site and also for the male perspective participation on our forums. You rock diddly ock, McNee. Well, that's it for this week. Don't forget to stop by our forums and say hi or leave us a video comment. And hey, we need more Freaks of the Week. So post your before and after pictures in the Freak of the Week section of our forum. See you next week. Maybe if we relax a little, we'll see that we actually look good and healthy and that what's in the... <laughs> he didn't bite the end where you kill the fly, he bit the handle. Let's fix it. Oh, you are disgusting. <laughs>